afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Hard Rock Stadium here in Miami, Florida. For week six of the 2018 NFL season here on Jay-Z Place. Today, Ryan Tannehill and the Miami Dolphins, led by Kenny Stills and Jarvis Landry, look to go back-to-back -back for the first time this year against Aaron Rodgers, Jordy Nelson, Randall Cobb, and the Green Bay Packers. For the Packers, it's a slow start, and all things considered for them. For the Dolphins, well, it's just another season, let's be honest so far. So Mike McCarthy getting his guys pumped up, ready for the game. Ty Montgomery in at running back, and for the Dolphins, Damien Williams. Two explosive guys out of acceleration when they first touch the ball. Should be a lot of fun to watch today, and we'll see who walks out of Week 6 with a W. So with that said, let's get into it. Pick things up, 8.50 to go here in the first quarter. Packer ball, third and 19. Aaron Rodgers from about midfield from the 44 of Miami. He's going to roll right off of foot, and he's going to find Jordy Nelson. Triple coverage, intended coverage for Turner Purvis, the Dolphins cornerback, and I just an Aaron Rodgers play, that's all you can say. Finds Jordy Nelson, they're up 7-0. So the Dolphins are looking to answer. 37-yard line of their own, 6 minutes. And just like Aaron Rodgers, Ryan Tannehill would roll right. He had plenty more time to find a guy. And that's Jarvis Landry. It's a foot race. And he's down at the 1-yard line. So at the 1-yard line, you give it to your back, right? Well, on first and goal, they're going to expect that theory they're gonna go past and they find Paul Richardson first touchdown of the year for him and this game is all tied at 7 5 11 now here to go in the first quarter from Miami 7 all Packers ball Rodgers on the run finds Randall Cobb gets out of a tackle by Purvis no one's gonna catch him and Cobb is gonna go 75 yards into the end zone both touchdowns for Aaron Rodgers have been scrambling of some variety. We'll see if the Dolphins can pick that up as the game goes. However, ensuing possession, this one is picked off, and that is Quinton Rollins for the Packers. Packers get short field, and that's a death wish if you give Aaron Rodgers a short field like that. Hand off to Ty Montgomery. First halfback action of the game for either team. And it's 28-7 Packers. However, the Dolphins were not going to lay down all half. Minute 30 to go before half. And this is Kenny Stills finding a window in coverage from Green Bay. And Kenny Stills has his first touchdown of the game third on the year. 28-14, you leave time for Aaron Rodgers. He'll make you pay, especially with more than one timeout. Right here finds Randall Cobb. Coach McCarthy calls a timeout, then they go I formation. Jordy Nelson, the man in motion, and they go on the other side, one-on-one -on -one coverage with Devontae Adams. He gets down to the eight. That would lead to a Graham Gano field goal opportunity. This one is going to be from 23 yards, a little chip shot. At the end of the half, it is down through the middle. So 31-14, Packers lead. They had three more. We are in the third quarter now, halfway through 34-14. Rodgers play action no one near Randall Cobb and he would eventually get chased down out of bounds at the 18 yard line Cobb 92 yards three catches the drive would stall Graham Gano comes out for a 30 yard down the middle of the field field goal opportunity it is good and it's 37 14 However, Ryan Tannehill will go back to his old ways from last week, the 16-6 win over the Kansas City Chiefs in Arrowhead. He never saw the extra help in the secondary. And it's the third interception of the game for Tannehill, and that will lead to Aaron Rodgers and Ty Montgomery doing this. Just a simple handoff. Look at the blocks thrown by Jordy Nelson to get Tankersley to get more Dolphins on the right side. And then Ty Montgomery's acceleration just to block every, well, just outrun everyone, not even block. 
and this game eventually would come to an end. Final score from Miami, 50 to 14 Green Bay. You knew it was bad in the first half. It didn't get any better in the second half. The Dolphins shut out in the second half, actually. And the Finns dropped to 2-4. We'll see you next time. Packers win this handedly.